Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 5th of December. Looks pretty mild through Saturday, but big changes early next week. Hang on. Let's get in there and take a look. We'll start with some of the Skycam shots. First off from Birmingham, that is a uh, large structure fire on the east side of Birmingham on Powell Avenue. Uh, they were working that about 2.30 uh, this afternoon, the fire department. Uh, I believe it's a two-alarm fire. Uh, and you can see the smoke plume, but pretty much going straight up. That means uh, not much wind, of course, in the low levels, and the sky over Birmingham is cloudy. That's the Cheeha Sky Cam from East Alabama. Again, overcast conditions there. And hey, more wave clouds. Kelvin Helmholtz clouds. That was uh, seen from a pilot down in southwest Alabama, north of Mobile, around Grove Hill and Jackson. If you recall, we had those in Birmingham last December. Uh, huge. Uh, amazing to see those, but uh, kind of interesting that they've shown up again in our state a year later, uh, this time down in southwest Alabama. And that was about to 8,000 feet where the pilot was that uh, took that image. Temperatures this afternoon. Uh, look at Montgomery. It's 78. Woo, boy. Um... And then we've got uh, cooler readings to the north, uh, 50s for Haleyville and Cullman, where they've been cloudy all day, but mostly 60s around here. Birmingham at 66, the same for Tuscaloosa. But around the nation, yeah, buddy, hang on. we got cold air coming down the pike. It is very cold. They're below freezing around the Great Lakes, the upper Midwest, and we're going to feel that early next week. Going to take a while, but we'll get it about the time the uh, work week begins. Uh, let's peek at the... Uh, Big picture, if you will, uh, you can see that very compact little upper feature that's around the mouth of the Mississippi River, helping to uh, keep the clouds in place across Alabama today and squeezing out a little rain, but not much. That's the radar at 207. You can see a few sprinkles over Blunt, Etowah counties, and that's about it. And uh, I really think we're not going to have any, uh, you know, major rain here through at least the daytime Sunday. I think the next big event will be Sunday night and early Monday, as you'll see. Uh, there's our watch warning map. And again, it's just amazing how uh, uh, the quiet things are. But I get the idea that map is going to start to light up like a Christmas tree, like you'd expect to see uh, in December in coming weeks as the pattern begins to change. This is the rain for the next five days, valid through Monday morning of next week, Monday morning at 6 o'clock. Bigger numbers north of here, uh, showing rain amounts of uh, well over one inch around the shoals, tapering off down to hardly anything at Dothan. We do expect a squall line in here late Sunday night and early Monday, as you'll see. Let's go through the 12Z GFS and uh, work our way through this. This is valid at 12 noon tomorrow, and this is the 12Z run, and the mandatory level here is at 500 millibars. The disturbance that was south of us today is uh, approaching Key West, uh, and you can see no really dynamic forcing. So even though uh, there's still some moisture in the air, kind of a mix of sun and clouds, and I think we can leave it dry and very mild, the high around 70, but we note that wedge pattern trying to form. And then on uh, uh, Friday, same deal. I think we'll be dry, but we'll have to watch for the cold air damming. And I think it'll be a gradient where maybe along the Georgia border, the high Friday could be in the upper 50s. Uh, near the Mississippi border, highs may be low 70s. Just depends on where you are. And again, I can't rule out the chance of a shower Friday, but odds of any one spot getting wet are very small. And really the same thing on Saturday as we start the weekend. Maybe a slightly better chance, but I'd say the risk of any one spot getting wet, only about one in five. We're very mild, the high close to 70, but we note a lot of cold air north of us. And Sunday, here we go. Here comes that whopper of a trough you can see west of the state. This is noon Sunday. Down below that, a deep surface low begins to wind up near uh, Springfield, Missouri and Joplin with a big snowstorm, if this is right, uh, for Omaha, Nebraska, Des Moines, Iowa, parts of Kansas and the cold air. And the cold air is going to begin to plunge south in the wake of that thing. But I think during the day Sunday, we're dry. Um, but Sunday night, inevitably, those storms will likely move in here. Let's go to Monday morning at 6 a.m., all right? Uh, you can see the trough is very sharp, and it's getting close, and uh, we'll be in a very highly difluent flow aloft. That aids in the upward motion. And Monday at 6 a.m., a squall line is passing through here. 
Uh, the deep surface low is under 1,000 millibars just west of Cleveland, and uh, those storms could pack a punch. It looks like a squall line setup that would be some, you know, linear. The main threat would be from strong, damaging straight line winds. Uh, I don't think we have a major tornado threat here, but certainly we could see some storms going severe within that line, mainly because of wind. And considering the timing, that's another good thing. You know, 6 o'clock in the morning, that's when the air tends to be most stable. So I'd say the main window for storms may be midnight Sunday night until 8 o'clock Monday morning. And what's going to happen? Look at the cold air behind it. I think Monday is going to be a day with falling temperatures. We go the wrong way. We could start the morning at 4 or 5 o'clock, you know, well on the 60s. And we'll probably drop into the 40s during the day Monday. Uh, this is 6 o'clock Monday evening. Again, we're back at 500 millibars. The trough is moving on by. Uh, the storms are out. Uh, the 540 line is uh, down to Huntsville. Uh, so, again, Monday looks like a breezy and chilly day with falling temperatures. We'll probably fall through the 50s. And, again, we could easily reach the 40s considering the strength of the cold air that's up north, up in the source region. And then Tuesday will be well below freezing Tuesday morning. That'll get us down in the 20s. And Tuesday would be a cool day with a high in the low 50s based on those thickness values. Uh, so that's all of a sudden below average. We should be in the upper 50s this time of the year. And uh, there's Wednesday of next week. You know what that is? 12, 12, 12. A little impulse on the Gulf. We've seen a lot of different looks with that. This run kind of uh, dampens the thing out and suppresses the rain to the south. We have seen other runs that make it pretty wet here by Wednesday or Thursday of next week, but we'll keep an eye on that. Let's go deeper into the month. This is the 17th of December. And a pretty good chunk of energy coming through here with a big rain event and a 998 millibar low that's uh, uh, east of the mouth of Chesapeake Bay. And, uh, and again, this is voodoo. Look, every run is going to look different. We're not that interested in these specific solutions, but the screaming message is that you've got a 1,037 millibar high up on the Canadian border. And in the wake of that thing, it's going to turn really cold. Uh, so... We'll kind of keep an eye on that. And this is December 21st. This is the end of the forecast period, and that is uh, chilly and uh, dry. But look at the surface low in the western Gulf. I mean, you just see how the, the door opens up for mischief maybe. I, I, don't, I don't know. It's, uh, what, four days before Christmas. So uh, certainly it looks colder for the latter half of December. Uh, winter weather mischief, who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And don't forget, watch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. I'll be live at 5 and 6 from Applebee's on Highway 150 in Hoover, part of the annual Toys for Tots drive. It's a family night. Hope you can come out and see us out there back in the studio tonight at 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.